Biological Safety Cabinet Biological safety cabinets are devices for controlling aerosols and microparticles associated with managing potentially toxic or infectious biological material in laboratories. A biological safety cabinet encloses a workspace in such a way as to protect workers from aerosol exposure to infectious disease agents. Air that contains the infectious material is sterilized either by heat, ultraviolet light or most commonly by passage through a HEPA filter. Most particles larger than 0.3 micrometers in diameter. Three kinds of biological safety cabinets designated as class 1, 2 and 3 have been developed to meet varying research and clinical needs. Principle and Operation The biological safety cabinet is a chamber generally constructed of steel. It has a front glass window of adjustable height, a ventilation system with an electric motor, a ventilator and a set of ducts which while functioning generate a negative pressure condition inside the cabinet. This forces the air to flow from inside the cabinet through the front opening to generate a curtain of air protecting the operator. Internally, the air is conducted through a series of grids and ducts to be finally treated in HEPA filters. Depending on the design of the cabinet, the air is recycled inside the laboratory or extracted and renewed in diverse proportions. Use of safety cabinets A safety cabinet should not be loaded with unnecessary equipment or it will not carry out its job properly. Work should be done in the middle to rear of the cabinet, not near the front. The operator should avoid bringing the hands and arms out of the cabinet while working. After each set of manipulations and before withdrawing the hands, the operator should wait for two to three minutes to allow any aerosols to be swept into the filters. After finishing work in a safety cabinet, the hands and arms may be contaminated and should be washed immediately. Startup procedure. Switch on the equipment. Check if the manometer reading is below 25 millimeters of mercury. Switch on the ultraviolet light for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, switch off the UV light. Wait for five minutes and then open the hood. With lights on, set to work. Ensure that the exhaust is on while processing. Shutdown procedure. At the end of day, close the gas burner, allowing all the gas in the burner to be consumed after closing the regulator. Check. No residual gas is left in the rubber tubing. Clean the whole work area with spirit cotton. Check everything is set right and close the hood. Switch on the UV light for 30 minutes. Switch off the UV light and the machine finally. Maintenance. Biosafety cabinets must be certified initially whenever moved more than 18 inches and annually thereafter. Daily maintenance. Decontaminate the work surface and the interior surfaces of the cabinet with 70% ethanol. Verify the precision of the manometer's reading, indicating any fallen pressure flowing through the HEPA filter. Register the date and the reading in the cabinet's logbook. Check for any residual LPG left in the rubber tubing after closing the gas cylinder. Put on the UV light at the end of day for 30 minutes for decontamination before shutting down the machine. Clean the front glass door and the surface using a domestic cleaning solution. Weekly maintenance. Check the efficacy of UV light by sterility testing of biosafety hood. Keep a sterile blood agar plate with the lid open inside the cabinet. Close the glass lid of the cabinet and turn on the UV light for 15 minutes. Remove the plate after switching off the UV light and incubate it at 37 degrees centigrade overnight. After incubation, check for growth. No growth on the plate indicates an effective sterility mechanism. A few additional maintenance and safety steps are suggested in this chart. The user is encouraged to customize as required. Breakdown In case of a breakdown, check the manometer reading. Check the light switch for any loose connections. 
if all the above are working properly and still the cabinet does not work, call the service engineer. Calibration and verification. Biological safety cabinets must be certified at least annually according to the National Sanitation Foundation Standard and American National Standard 49, which is the accepted standard for the biological safety cabinet industry. In India, NABL 142 recommends calibration as per National Physical Laboratory. As per NABL 112, in addition to annual calibration, colony counts through swap culture need to be done and documented at least once a week. Safety. The maintenance of internal components must only be done by trained and qualified personnel. In order to carry out maintenance on the internal components, decontamination must be done previously. Personal protection must be worn to perform the routines. Use the biosafety cabinet UV light for decontamination as per guidelines and remember to switch off the UV lamp at least half an hour before using the biosafety hood.